France has drawn 1-1 with Hungary in the uh, Euro 2020. Now, France's Antoine Griezmann equalised in the 66th minute after a surprise first goal from the host. Uh, just a reminder then, France beat Germany 1-0 in their opening Group F game. Hungary were beaten 3-0 by Portugal in their first match. Well, let's get some analysis on, on this. Uh, France 24, Selena Sykes joins us from the sports desk. Uh, Selena, it has to be said, Hungary put up a real uh, fight uh, against uh, the world champions also maybe something of a surprise this 1-1 draw indeed especially looking at the first half uh, France really should have taken uh, the lead in the first 45 minutes they were controlling the game they dominated all over the pitch uh, they carved out so many uh, chances uh, but lacked that crucial uh, clinical finish uh, Kylian Mbappe showed off some incredible skill and got in some really dangerous positions but he failed to hit on target and Hungary uh, pressed well and continued to defend well uh, but struggled to get down the end of the pitch and then obviously we saw there perhaps in the moment of the Euros so far, uh, Hungary went ahead against all odds uh, just before half time in front of their home crowd in Budapest. The fans going absolutely crazy. Uh, and uh, so that it was right back at Attilia Fiola who drove forward into the box uh, with the French uh, defender Raphael Varenne uh, really not knowing what to do. He didn't want to bring him down in the box. Uh, so Fiola kept his composure and uh, stick the ball away with a, a brilliant low finish. That breaks uh, a string of uh, clean sheets for France. They'd gone five games on the trot with out conceding and uh, the, the World Cup champions were left completely shell-shocked uh, even at the beginning of the second half you could see that the frustration was starting to creep into the, the French game um, luckily the equaliser turned things around so they, that really pulled this around for them they then continued to persevere continued uh, trying to get chances we had a few uh, close ones at the end there Mbappe was uh, denied uh, by a good save by the Hungarian goalkeeper but the Hungarians really went toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, the World Champions tonight and it's, it's, it's a huge result for them a big point for them, something that nobody expected and it's also blown this uh, group of death wide open. France obviously failing to secure qualification tonight. If they won, they would have uh, secured uh, progression into the last 16. Uh, they are still on top uh, top in that group. Uh, they are on four points uh, but all eyes are now on Portugal, uh, Germany this evening, uh, which is the other game in uh, Group F this evening. Well, I know you'll be watching that game for us. As you say, surprise that you use the term shell shock. Some people are already talking about this being perhaps a wake-up call uh, for France, the fact that you're any Anything can happen in this competition. Some of the teams that appear to be weaker can ultimately uh, come through uh, at the last minute, as we saw with Hungary there. Um, just talking about the ambiance there, because it was a really entertaining match. Everybody who watched it has is, is said the same. But entertaining, not least, because there are about 60,000 fans in, in, the, uh, in the stadium. Indeed, Rochelle. It's the only stadium in the Euros which is at full capacity. It's something that we've not seen uh, for a while as football fans. And the, the Hungarian fans were really the 12th uh, man this evening. They played over really important role. They were raring their team on every time that Red Shirts had the ball. Uh, the, the, the stadium was just uh, full of noise. The fans went absolutely crazy in the run-up to their goal. Uh, huge fans, huge roars, roaring them on. And that was something that obviously I think will have played a factor in this game and something that France uh, will have struggled uh, to have played under. Um, and the atmosphere, yes, just really played a big role in this game. Um, so we'll have to see for their last game uh, whether that they can uh, continue to be read on by their fans but it was really beautiful beautiful scenes to see this evening and I'm sure there'll be a lot of happy uh, Hungarians celebrating a Budapest this evening. I think so and as you said it just goes to show the importance of having fans in the stadium cheering uh, their players on.